Do men age like wine? That's the question we're going to be answering in this video. So if you are an older gentleman or a man who's worried about getting older, I think you should pay attention to this video because I'm going to be talking about how you can maximize your attractiveness with women as an older guy. So we're going to play a clip from a guy named Mac and Murphy. He's got a master's in psychology who gives his opinion on the subject. People talk about men aging like wine. Look at like, the, like it's not true. <laughs> it's I'm not. sorry. A great example of this is Leonardo DiCaprio. It's like, yes, Leonardo DiCaprio at his current age is handsomer than me. But when he was my age, he was way handsomer than he yeah, is now. Right, right, right. So this right. whole like delusion that men keep feeding themselves, oh, you know, yeah, men the age like wine. I've looked at the research here. Who's most physically attractive to a 25 year old woman? It's like a 26 year old man. Women are most physically attracted to men who are slightly older than themselves. And that only extends until like 40 ish. And then the trend actually starts to reverse. That's when women start thinking that younger men are actually sexier mm. and that gap becomes wider as they get older. Okay. So Mac and Murphy is basically making the point that no, men do not age like wine. In fact, he says in the description that may, if men age like wine, it would be like a wine that gets marginally worse every single year. And I think that that's fairly accurate when it comes to physical attractiveness, you know? When you look at men who are in their 20s, they have less wrinkles, they're usually more uh, physically fit, you know? And so it would make sense that women are gonna be more physically attracted to those individuals. Like when they see them, they feel more desire. Okay, but when it comes to attraction, it ain't just about the physical. One difference between women and men is that women care less about the physical than men do. Yes, they care much more about physical attraction than they are willing to let on. But when it comes to status, when it comes to emotional intelligence, when it comes to confidence, when it comes to resources, when it comes to maturity, all of those things are incredibly important to women. And guess what? Almost all of those things increase with age. Well, they can increase with age if you work on them. There are some guys who don't work on themselves, and that's the other caveat to this. Does this make sense for the average guy? Does the average guy get more attractive with age? Well, I think those, th those other things will increase, but I do not think the average guy always gets attractive to women. And the reason why is because most average guys don't work on themselves, okay? But let's take the example that he listed in the video. Leonardo DiCaprio, clearly more handsome in his mid-20s than he is now, okay? Um, I think he's like 48 now or something like that. But I would put it to you that Leo is actually more attractive because although he's lost physical attraction, he's kind of let himself go a little bit, to be honest with you, um, he's increased in status. He's gotten more emotionally mature. He doesn't party quite as much as he did when he was in his 20s. Um, he may, might be dating younger women, so maybe there's not as much, <laughs> maybe there's certain elements of his emotional maturity that haven't improved. Uh, but he's certainly more accomplished, certainly got more, more resources available to himself. So there's a lot of things that have improved with time, okay? So maybe if you weighed each of them, you, in your opinion, might not think that Leo is more attractive. So let's take a better example of this, okay? Let's take a guy like Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, when he was around 26 years old, was an incredibly handsome guy. More handsome than he was when he was, uh, you know, 58, right? But nobody knew who he was. He had very low status. Suddenly, he gets cast in American Graffiti and then Star Wars, and by the time he's 35, he's a household name. Now people know who he is, right? And you can see with the, the, with the different wives that he had, the different wives that he had, yes, his, his attractiveness did increase. And by the time he got to age 58, because his status was so great, he was seen as this manly figure, he'd be in so many uh, different movies, you know, the, the opinion of the public was such that at 58 years old, he was voted the sexiest man alive. Was he more physically attractive at 58 than he was at, you know, in his mid-20s? Absolutely not. But all of the things that I was talking about when it comes in relation to attraction increased, okay? And he was attractive to a wide, wider variety of women. So let's talk about that, all right? When it comes to being attractive, it's not just being attractive to younger women as well, too, which he points to a few different times, okay? Now, most men, when they think about this, they think, I'm just gonna get older and then a bunch of young 20 year olds are gonna jump all over me when I hit 35 or 38. <laughs> That's just not gonna happen. Most of these young 20 year olds are hanging out with guys who like you said are slightly older than them, all right? But to women that are around your age, you become much, much more attractive as you get older. Why? Because their attractiveness actually gets lower 
their sexual market value decreases while men's actually increases. Now, when I mean their sexual market value increases, I mean the sexual market value is, you have to take all those things into account. When it's just by physical attractiveness, men's goes a little bit lower while women's goes lower quicker. All right, now there are plenty of women who look amazing as they get older, but ask any guy, okay? If you were a guy in school, and I was a perfect example of this, I was in school and women wouldn't bat an eye at me in my early 20s, okay? There's plenty of women who wouldn't have given me a second glance. Those same women, and plenty of people in my position have seen this firsthand as well too, now that I'm 32, they don't just give me a second glance, man. They see me as a viable option. They will try, they will like, you know, they will reach out to me. It, it's a thing that happens. Okay, and men see this and so they think, okay, well, my peak is gonna be at that age. When people talk about their peak, when Mackin says your best days are behind you, you, your best days, in my opinion, can always be the time that it is now, but you have to work at it, all right? But accept your limitations. You are not going to get physically, your physical potential for attractiveness probably peaked in his 20s. That doesn't mean that you can't be more attractive than you were in your 20s, but you gotta maximize what you have. Yes, get in shape. Most guys who are in their 30s and 40s are not in shape, so get in shape. Number two, take care of your skin, take care of all those things that you know most people don't take care of at that age. Okay, so now we've handled the physical. Also, you gotta make money. Dude, if you're a guy who's older and you're broke, <laughs> <laughs> women are just, women your age won't respect you. Women who are younger than you won't respect you. You're, you're, you're off the table, okay? Being broke was cool in your 20s. It's, it wasn't even cool in your 20s. It's, it's acceptable in your 20s, but it's like so uncool when you're older that you just, hey, you have no chance. So I know there are plenty of guys who are watching this who are thinking, hey, Lloyd, well, what does that mean for me? How can I, if I'm getting older, be more attractive to women? How, if I'm an older guy already, how can I stay attractive or get more attractive than I was when I was younger? Now, you have to re realize your limitations. Number one, your physical ain't gonna be as good as it was in the past, okay? Potentially, that doesn't mean you can't look better than you do now. I've had plenty of people tell me I look better than I did when I was younger because I carry myself more confidently because I maintain better physical shape than I did. And there was actually a little bit of baby fat I had in my early 20s that kind of got leaned out. So I look a little bit more masculine than I did in the past, uh, emphasizes the jawline a little bit. Um, but the third thing that you also got to do as well too is you have the ability to accrue more resources. You can be a better guy overall in a better package, but also recognize that yes, you're not going to be able to get girls in their early 20s like you're in some sort of frat house. I mean, that's the best time to get 22 year olds is when you're in a frat house of other 22 year old people as well too. So what I would recommend is you start aiming for women that are a bit more reasonable for you, but can still do it for you. I think women in their late 20s, early 30s, are phenomenal looking women, but they're more mature. You're going to be relate, able to relate to them better. And they're going to be prizing other qualities that women in their early 20s won't. Women in their early 20s, I don't know if you can tell, but they're re into really hot, dumb guys, okay? <laughs> and, you know, that's just not going to, you're just not going to fit the profile of the guy that they're looking for. Unless, of course, they're looking for like a sugar daddy or something, which is another way to compensate for the loss of physical attractiveness that you have as you get older, okay? So that's another option as well, too. There are plenty of women who are into that sort of stuff. And there's certain women who have a taste for older guys, okay? But it's not most women. And I think when people talk about this, they think of things in averages and they think of things in, um, you know, as a kind of a one size fits all. This channel is not meant if you're trying to be average, okay? But if you're trying to be successful, if you're trying to be good at what you do, this is the perfect channel for you. I'm trying to maximize your ability to get someone. Okay, I'm trying to maximize your ability to attract the highest quality partner for yourself. That's what these videos are about. And so if you wanna do that, as an older gentleman, you gotta do three things. Number one, you gotta be in good physical shape. Okay, there's no excuse for letting yourself go and being fat. If you wanna maximize your attractiveness, okay, that has gotta stay. Number two, you can't be broke. You gotta be making money when you're older, right? And number three, you gotta have some sort of social circle and way you're meeting people regularly. If you're not doing those things, that is a, one of the biggest drop-offs I see that people don't have as they get to their older age, okay? When they're younger, yes, they don't have as many resources, but you're exposed to much more women. And so your ability to attract a woman in their 20s is much higher uh, during that age. So if you wanna be able to use the things that you have at your disposal and get those women 
then what you need to do is be able to have those three things that I talked about. And that's exactly what I help guys create, okay? And if you're a guy who's walked through life, who hasn't learned those things, and hasn't learned the skills to be able to get women, you can learn it as you get older. Dude, I've coached so many guys who are older who were either virgins or were in a super long-term relationship and then broke up and have no idea how to date. They learn quicker because you know yourself better as you get older. Like I said, there are some innate things that you get that make you more attractive as an older gentleman, and that's because you know yourself better, you're more confident, you're more emotionally intelligent. Those things make your learning curve much, much shorter than it is for a guy in his 20s. Typically, what I find is guys in their 20s, they continue to make a lot of mistakes and they need to be repeated things like a bunch of times. Okay, older gentlemen, not so much. So that's one silver lining there. Now, the next thing is that don't wait. If you're a guy in your 20s who's watching this, there's absolutely no reason to wait until your 30s to be able to be the most attractive that you can be. You need to start now, okay? Because like you said, if you could have all of those things, in your 20s, then that would make you the most attractive because you also have the physical attractiveness there, okay? But seeing as you probably won't be able to get them until your 30s, that's why it tends to be the peak of the attractiveness for most men, okay? But if you don't, if you wait until your 30s to get those things, you definitely won't have them. So to conclude this, know your limitations. Make sure you maximize your attractiveness and start early. And number three, make sure you're getting out there and make sure you're meeting people to actually expose yourself to all of these things. There are a lot of things in this world, but one of the things that is true is that for men, we have an incredibly high potential for success, but an incredibly high potential to fall. You know, I don't know if you noticed, but most of the richest people in the world and most of the homeless people in the world are men and there's a reason for that society ain't coming to help you no one's coming to save you but yourself and yes as an older guy you can be extremely attractive to even younger women if you play it smart like i said and know your limitations but don't think that just by you getting older and increasing in age and doing nothing that you're going to live a very successful life with women okay that is a coping mechanism that he talks about as well too and that part is definitely true if you're just using this to cope and not work on yourself you're not using it right all of this was built for you guys to have hope to have hope that you can be someone who can be attractive to a partner that you will also be really, really into as well too. To be attractive to women, okay? I don't just talk about if you just wanna get into a monogamous relationship too. I want you guys to have options. I want you to be able to pick the one that you want. Or if you wanna date around, pick the ones that you want, okay? That's exactly what I'm here to do. And if you wanna get help with this, Go to getcoachedbyloyd.com. That is a website. If you want to schedule a personal call with me, that's how you do it. Okay, I'm looking for guys who are ready to change their lives. And if you're that guy, fill out the form and we'll chat. A member of my team will get back to you and we'll have at it. Anyway, I'll do more videos on this. If there's any other guy in the space who's like maybe a scientist or something, if I can distill the information for you down, make it actually practical for you guys, let me know and I'll do it. Thank you for watching and good luck out there.